missed the final a week ago in Wroclaw with uh, some issues with the bike. The chain was off, and uh, that cost him the opportunity of uh, going to the final race in Poland last week. But here in Riga, where he won 12, week, uh, 12 weeks ago, 12 months ago, can he make it back-to-back -back wins here in the Baikoniki? You wouldn't put it past him. No, whatever happens, he'll stretch his lead on Lambert, Bickelson, Vasilik, the chasing pack. It's that man there coming off the outside gate, Freddy Linger, and he's the one that's got well, to seize this opportunity. Three podiums in the last three rounds. Yeah, fantastic performance and superb consistency. Freddy Lingren with a win. And if Bartosz Marslik finished in fourth place on 14 points, it'd be a six-point swing there. And uh, that would be quite an outcome mm. with two rounds to go. That really would tighten it up big time. Going into Voyens next weekend, we are having a triple header. It's a very busy schedule for all concerned. And then we have a weekend off before we then conclude the World Championship with a double header with the third round of the SGP2 and the final round of the Senior Grand Prix on the Saturday evening in Torren, where we traditionally culminate our series. What a moment for Dan Bewley. Cool, calm and collected character, but it must be going through his mind. He's only human after all. <laughs> but uh, he does have this remarkable record. I don't think it's a record that anybody else has. He makes finals and he wins them all. And uh, with the inside gate here, he has every chance of maintaining that record. It would be remarkable, it really would. I fancy him, I really do. I think he gets his nose in front. He's only got to be level with Smiles at going in the first turn. The bike's working well, he's riding nicely. He looks like he's really enjoying it out there. And some riders aren't. No, he looks the most comfortable. You know, he's, he's uh, at one with the bike. He's uh, light going into the corners. He's letting the bike settle down, sort itself out. And then he's finding all the traction around the outside. He's doing, making all the right moves. He's making decent starts. He's only got to make a decent start from the inside. And he will have the advantage. So the boys are on their way around to the start for the final time tonight. Max Rick, I just want to mention him because he's had an extraordinary night. He's had six rides and se uh, six second places. He actually finished second in the Grand Prix a little earlier on when he came back. His second outing, I think it was Melilla, where he finished second and picked up 18 points. Subsequently, points have been hard to come by for the Australian. He's back in the big time now. He's gonna pick up a minimum 14 here, but he'll be looking for more. He's won a couple of Grand Prix in the past, so he is accustomed to winning. He knows what it's all about. He knows that feeling. And uh, what an opportunity for Max Frick here as a replacement rider. Coming in, making his second final of the season. Smarsley has had to work very hard. We've been going on about it <laughs> all night long. So the lineup for the final, Dan Bewley's on the inside in the red helmet colour. Bartos Smarslik, he goes out of gate number two in blue. Max Frick, gate number three in white, and Freddie Lingwin on the outside in the yellow helmet colour. I do hope you've enjoyed it at home. This track is not easy, and we have seen some tremendous speedway here in the Baikoniki tonight. It's round number nine, and all nine rounds have been spectacular. They really haven't let us down at all. No, it's been great. It's been terrific stuff. And, and there's a lot on this part. Dan Bewley wants to keep his 100% record in finals. Of course he does. And you've got to add to that a couple of uh, super heats, uh, qualifying heats. <laughs> he's been absolutely, sprint race, he's been absolutely fantastic in as well. Yeah. Winning both of those. Smarslik wants to extend his lead, not let the gap close anymore. Lingren, well, he just wants to win his first world championship, doesn't he? Indeed he does, so um, uh, lots of different storylines here on the start line. Didn't look like Schmarslick was going to get to the latter stages earlier on when he was upside down underneath two bikes as they were roaring up. So very un... Uh, well, it was an ugly scene, actually, as they came out of turn number two earlier on this evening in heat number four. We are now at heat 23. It's the grand final in the Baikoniki Stadium here tonight. Here we go, then. Final time in Riga. Tapes up, we're underway. Beauty's made a lovely start on the inside. He gets there. He fasts himself to front. Beauty, whoa, he's under pressure now. Smiles like with a sensational first corner. Freddie Lingwood follows him through around the outside of Beauty. Beauty got beaten up there. That was a stunning move from Bartos Smarslik. Freddie now giving chase. Back in second place, Beauty back in third. Oh, oh Smarslik's out, out of shape there. Yeah, Smiles has got all out of shape there. He's riding a little bit tight. He's not comfortable, but I tell you what, he's racing hard, and Lingren's doing absolutely everything.
everything he can. He knows this is a decent result, but it's going to see Smarslik take a couple more points. Lead going into the last couple of rounds. He's still going at it. Bewley, unfortunately for him, done everything off the start. Just got swallowed up in the first turn. Smarslik out in front. What a result this is going to be. Didn't look like a winner earlier on, not at all. Freddie's trying everything he knows back in second place, but it's going to be back-to-back -back wins for the world champion here in the Baikonike in Riga. That's an astonishing result. A round of applause for Bartos Snarslik. That's why he's a four-time world champion. He's been under immense pressure. The confidence has been dented recently, but wow. That stunning move in the first corner, Farnham to the front, Chris. And that's what it's all about. Yeah, he's had a terrible night, hasn't he? He's won the Grand Prix, extended <laughs> his lead with two rounds to go. I tell you what, he worked hard. The way he started his uh, evening underneath those bikes, this is the result of a champion, a four-time champion. And there's every chance he'll be a five-time champion. So he takes a couple of lead, uh, points away from Freddie Lingren there with uh, 20 points there, 18 to Freddie, of course. Uh, the 100% record for Bewley uh, is now no longer. He finishes on the rostrum, but uh, doesn't win here in Riga. But for Bartos Marjic, you can see the way he's reacting there. There is relief. There is, uh, I, think, I think he's a little bewildered. I think it's been a rocky road of late. There's been confusion in the camp. A bit of argy-bargy and arguments going on in Wroclaw last weekend, which is very rare indeed with that tight-knit team that uh, they have in the pits. But, wow, he has bounced back in style here tonight. Bartosz Smarzlik wins the final here in Riga for the second consecutive year. Freddie Lingren, second place for him. Dan Bewley makes it third place. And Max Rick misses out there and finishes in fourth place in the final. 20 massive points for Bartosz Smarzlik. And now, all of a sudden, with two rounds to go, a 17-point lead in the championship. You've got to believe the championship will be his in 2024. Yeah, Smarzlik, he only had one thing on his mind. He wanted to get across Dan Bewley. He wanted to make the start clean. As soon as he didn't, there just makes a perfectly timed cutback. I've got to get to the inside. I've got to be getting down the inside of these uh, other riders. He does so perfectly. Bewley gets beaten up there. Coming into the second lap, makes a big mistake. Looks like he might concede the lead, but he gets it back under control very quickly. This is just like last year, the first Riga Grand Prix. Bartosz Smarczyk never looked comfortable all night, but once again, he comes out on top. Finds a way to win. And uh, when you can do that, you can win championships. And he's already got nothing to prove in that regard. But uh, one way or another, in recent weeks, pressure has been mounting on the world champion. Questions have been asked. Well, he's answered a lot of them tonight, hasn't he? Certainly has. And you can see the way he's reacted there. That clearly means an awful lot to him. And uh, he wins his second Grand Prix of the season. He uh, now matches Martin Vasilik. And the, the team will be chuffed to bits with that. No doubt about that. <laughs> because uh, they have been through the mill a bit of late.